In Case of Catastrophe, The Secret Vault Holding the World's Crops Do you know that, tucked away in the icy mountains of Norway, there exists a vault designed to withstand the end of the world? Known as the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, it's often called humanity's doomsday backup, a hidden storehouse with one of the most crucial lifelines for our future, seeds from nearly every crop on Earth. Established to preserve agricultural biodiversity against catastrophic events, this vault is much more than a seed bank. It's a testament to human foresight, holding the potential to restore food security and agricultural resilience in the face of unimaginable disasters. As climate change, natural calamities, and other global threats loom larger, the Seed Vault stands as a beacon of hope and survival, ready to protect and revive life's essentials should the world's food systems be pushed to the brink. Deep in the frigid reaches of the Arctic, Hidden within the mountains of Svalbard, Norway, lies a facility unmatched in its importance to human survival, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. This vault, often referred to as the Doomsday Vault, stands as a critical bulwark against the loss of agricultural diversity, a sanctuary for humanity's essential crops should catastrophe strike. Positioned less than a thousand kilometers from the North Pole, it is more than just a storage facility for seeds. It serves as a safeguard for the agricultural heritage and biodiversity that human civilization has cultivated over millennia, ensuring the continued existence of critical food sources for the world. Established in 2008, the vault is designed to withstand extreme events, both natural and human-made, and preserve seeds for generations. Behind its thick concrete walls and secured blast doors lies an invaluable collection of crop varieties from nearly every country, a genetic legacy meant to endure and sustain future generations, regardless of the crises the world might face. The establishment of the seed vault arose from a pressing global need. Modern agricultural practices have increasingly relied on high-yield, genetically uniform crops which, while productive, lack the genetic diversity necessary to withstand disease, pests, and shifting environmental conditions. Over time, this dependence on a limited range of crop varieties has made the world's agricultural systems vulnerable to sudden changes, whether driven by climate, pandemics, or geopolitical instability. Throughout human history, seed preservation has been recognized as a safeguard for future planting cycles especially in anticipation of crop failure or drought. Ancient cultures preserved seeds for future seasons, and societies worldwide have traditionally engaged in seed-saving practices to protect food security. However, modern threats, such as large-scale natural disasters, rapid climate change, and political conflicts, have escalated the urgency of securing agricultural biodiversity. The realization that a global repository was needed to protect seeds against an increasingly uncertain future led to the creation of the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, a project that represents both human ingenuity and our enduring commitment to survival. The choice of Svalbard's remote Arctic location was strategic. Positioned far from large population centers and sheltered within permafrost, the facility benefits from natural stability in a region with low seismic activity and minimal human influence. The constant cold provided by permafrost layers surrounding the vault helps ensure that stored seeds remain viable even if the vault's refrigeration system is temporarily compromised. This natural environment, paired with the vault's architectural and security design, creates a nearly impregnable sanctuary for one of the world's most valuable resources. Carved into a mountain over 130 meters deep, the vault is built to withstand earthquakes, floods, and even nuclear events. Thick concrete walls and blast-resistant doors provide physical security, while a remote and discreet location further reduces the risk of interference. The interior is maintained at a controlled temperature of 18 degrees Celsius, the optimal level for seed preservation. In the event of a power failure, the permafrost acts as a natural fail-safe to maintain low temperatures, allowing seeds to remain viable for centuries or longer, if necessary. 
Inside the vault lies a collection as diverse as humanity itself. With over 1 million seed samples and a capacity to house up to 4.5 million varieties, the vault represents a wealth of genetic diversity. From familiar crops such as wheat, rice, and maize, to lesser-known but resilient grains like millet and quinoa, the vault preserves plant species that have supported societies across different climates and terrains. Countries from every continent contribute to this collection, each depositing seeds as a form of agricultural insurance. The seeds are meticulously packaged in vacuum-sealed aluminum containers to protect them from moisture and air, stored in crates labeled by country and crop type. Each depositor retains full ownership of their seeds, and only the depositor can authorize withdrawals, ensuring that the vault operates as a global trust rather than an international repository under the control of any single entity or government. Svalbard's role as a backup rather than an active seed bank distinguishes it from other gene banks. Seeds deposited here are not meant for immediate use or active research, but serve as a contingency in the event that the primary source is compromised. This backup function was put to the test in 2015 when Syria's seed bank in Aleppo faced destruction due to civil conflict. Syria became the first country to request seeds from Svalbard, using the withdrawal to rebuild their collection. Such instances highlight the vault's unique role. While the seeds are static, only replaced upon request, they provide a lifeline for countries facing crises that threaten their agricultural base. The deposit and withdrawal model has allowed the vault to remain primarily untouched, preserving its contents with minimal human interaction. The stability and reliability of the seed vault depend on this approach, as its role is to conserve rather than cultivate or test the seeds it holds. The governance and operational oversight of the seed vault reflect its apolitical and cooperative nature. Though the Norwegian government owns the physical infrastructure, the day-to-day -day management and operational responsibilities are shared among the Global Crop Diversity Trust, the Nordic Genetic Resource Center, NordGen, and international partners. This multi-stakeholder model reinforces the vault's role as a neutral and inclusive resource for all countries. Each participating nation can contribute seeds, safe in the knowledge that their deposits will remain sovereign and accessible to them alone. In cases of withdrawal, the process is straightforward but strictly regulated to ensure that the vault serves only as a last resort measure, not a primary repository for active research or ongoing agricultural projects. The simplicity and neutrality of this model have contributed to the vault's reputation as a symbol of international cooperation. In times of crisis, the seed vault's potential utility becomes immediately apparent. Agricultural biodiversity is essential to ensure resilience against environmental threats. As the climate shifts and regions experience increased temperature fluctuations, irregular rainfall, and severe droughts, agriculture is placed under unprecedented stress. Having access to diverse crop varieties provides a critical advantage in developing plant strains that can adapt to harsher conditions. Many of the seeds stored within the vault are from wild relatives or heritage strains that have withstood generations of natural selection, demonstrating resistance to various stresses. By preserving these genetic materials, Svalbard makes it possible for scientists and farmers to breed new varieties that are resilient against changing climates, ensuring that agriculture can continue to thrive in the face of unpredictability. Natural disasters, too, pose a serious threat to agriculture and the environments in which crops are grown. Soil degradation, contamination, and erosion are common results of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and other catastrophes. In the wake of such an event, local and even national food supplies can be compromised, leading to shortages and instability. The Seed Vault's repository of seeds that can thrive in a variety of soil types and climates provides a foundation for re-establishing agriculture in affected areas. With seeds adapted to differing pH levels, nutrient requirements, and environmental conditions, the Vault holds resources essential for rehabilitating degraded landscapes. 
By tapping into these reserves, countries can begin rebuilding their agricultural systems more swiftly, minimizing the humanitarian and economic impact of environmental disasters. At its core, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault is a resource aimed at preventing global food insecurity. The future of food security depends on a resilient agricultural base capable of adapting to environmental changes, whether these changes arise gradually, through climate shifts, or suddenly, through natural disasters. As population growth places increasing demands on food production, the need for a diverse and stable supply of crops becomes more urgent. The Seed Vault's collection offers a hedge against the catastrophic loss of these resources, allowing humanity to retain the option of drawing on past varieties to secure future yields. In this way, the Seed Vault acts as a form of agricultural continuity, ensuring that food production can recover and evolve even if significant disruptions occur. Despite its strengths, the Seed Vault is not without limitations and challenges. Critics point out that the vault's location, while providing natural protection, can also make it less accessible in times of need. Accessing the seeds and transporting them to locations of high demand would require significant logistical coordination, especially in the case of a global crisis affecting multiple regions. Moreover, although the permafrost provides a natural cooling system, climate change is a potential risk even for the vault's Arctic location. In 2017, rising temperatures caused meltwater to seep near the entrance, underscoring the need for careful monitoring and climate adaptation even for such a well-protected facility. While the vault's operational structure limits human intervention, future plans may include expanding or duplicating the collection in other strategic locations to ensure redundancy and accessibility. The Seed Vault's legacy will depend on how it continues to adapt to global challenges, and its mission may evolve as climate-related and geopolitical threats intensify. In the future, the facility may strengthen partnerships with regional seed banks to ensure the availability of critical plant varieties and develop additional protections against climate impacts. The model of Svalbard, with its emphasis on neutrality, cooperation, and accessibility, sets a precedent for the establishment of satellite seed banks in diverse locations worldwide. Such an expansion would help distribute the risk of seed loss and increase the availability of genetic resources on a local and regional level. In its silent vigilance, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault serves as a testament to human foresight and resilience, a monument to the preservation of life and knowledge. Its existence assures us that in the face of catastrophe, be it the result of natural disaster, conflict, or environmental transformation, we have a path to recovery. By preserving the agricultural diversity that underpins food security, the vault provides a foundation from which to rebuild and adapt. Should the world face a future in which current crops are no longer suited to new climates or soils, the vault's repository of ancient, hardy, and adaptable seeds will be invaluable. It holds not only seeds, but a promise that humanity will endure, that we are prepared to rebuild, and that life, in all its varied forms, will continue to flourish. The Seed Vault stands ready to fulfill its role as humanity's agricultural lifeline, bridging the past and future in service of our shared survival.